Hi, welcome to the series Maths is Easy, Maths is Fun. In this video, we'll start doing some discussions about three dimensional figures. The next figure that we are going to discuss is a cuboid, also known as a rectangular parallelopiped. In this, what happens is, unlike a cube where all sides had the same length, you would have one length you would have some breadth and you would have some height. So there would be different rectangles on different faces. That's why this structure is known as a rectangular parallelopiped or a cuboid. It's the same. In this case, the volume of a cuboid, if the length, breadth and height are A, B and C, the volume will be given by a into B into C and the surface area will be nothing but the surface area of the two similar rectangles over here plus the two similar rectangles on top and bottom and likewise. So it is simply to open the bracket AB plus BC plus AC. So if you look at the formulae between cube and cuboid the cube formula basically comes from the cuboid formula instead of a b and c in a cube everything is a whereas in a cuboid you have a b and c coming separately and then again we would have a body diagonal concept over here and the body diagonal of a cuboid is given by under root a square plus b square plus c square thank you